Okay guys, today I'm going to show you my little DIY uh, kayak cart build I made from a milk crate. So to begin with, actually I use two milk crates, but so I've got the the cart here upside down, zip tied some uh, pool noodles to the top for the kayak to run across. Uh, now underneath here, this upside down, I made it to where after I use the dolly to get my kayak to the to the water now I can install this and strap it down inside my kayak behind my seat by just flipping it upside down <clears throat> so also what I did is this is actually two milk crates this is the bottom piece of one milk crate I just cut cut it off um, I'm working on getting some uh, bungee cords some small ones I'm gonna rig up a latch to hold that down uh, that way if I was to flip my kayak uh, everything all my tackle and everything would be secure and uh, I should retain everything that goes overboard okay so for an axle, I used a 5 8 um, threaded bolt, or, and uh, I had to, use, as you can see, I had to cut off a little bit. I've got it um, two nuts on each side to secure it. Uh, for a spacer, I used PVC pipe, and there's a washer there, and this is also PVC pipe. What the what it's running through um, yeah it's I mean it's smooth it's solid uh, on the back here I attached that bottom piece of milk crate with zip ties might have to redo it it's it doesn't want to stay open on its own but that's not a big deal um, rod holders I wanted to create a little space between the lid and my rod holders so what I did is I took uh, a couple small pieces of uh, PVC pipe if you can see that and all I did was zip tie the PVC pipe to the milk crate then zip tied the rod holder to the PVC pipe and you can see here's the bottom piece and uh, yeah, we're working out. Seems like it's gonna work out just fine. It's you know it's sturdy. It ain't going nowhere. For the front, I do believe. I'm not real sure just yet, just because of rod positioning on my on the back of my kayak. I'm not sure if I'm going to. install two more rod holders here and here on each corner or maybe on this side I'm not sure yet but until I get the kayak and uh, get to setting it up I am going to install probably via PVC pipe just something that's going to fit um, I have a 13 foot extendable light that I'm going to be able to install right here to where I can extend it up for night fishing uh, get that light 13 foot up in the air away from me keep the bugs away from me that's the idea um, it's a really good light I used it for uh, bank fishing never had any problems with it it's waterproof it's, it's just an all-around good light and it comes with a remote so I can turn it on and off I have holes here drilled in the top I've got bungees coming where I'm going to interweave them to where I have a little kind of a catch-all kind of deal to where I can store some more stuff here in the top tray um, 
<clears throat> all in all, I think it's going to work out pretty well. Um, we'll put it to the test as soon as I get the kayak here in a couple days. Um, real pumped about it. My first kayak. It's the Riot Mako 12 pedal drive and it's going to be a, a lot of fun. So thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.